Thanks for joining us tonight. Governor Tony Evers released a plan today to help out the state's health care systems. He is awarding tens of millions of dollars after many of them have taken a substantial hit amid the pandemic. Today I'm also happy to announce that in consultation with the Wisconsin Hospital Association, the state will be awarding $40 million in financial assistance to Wisconsin hospitals from the Federal CARES Act funding. These funds will help hospitals make up for lost revenue and extra expenses due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier this week, the governor says more than $30 million was also awarded to child care centers across the state. And that's part of the Child Care Counts program, which will continue dispersing funds to early care and education providers in the coming weeks. Maddie O'Neill takes a look at how money from the Federal CARES Act is being used to support these essential institutions. Maddie? Well, that $40 million for hospitals will help make up for lost revenue in the months of March, April, and May. The Child Care Counts program helps facilities that stay open for essential workers, families, incentive pay for staff, as well as the centers that have had to temporarily close through this. Staff um, very much miss the children. Child care centers are in the business of taking care of others. But for this daycare facility and others ran by the nonprofit Reach Dane, the pandemic has shut that down since mid March. Child care was already a very un under resourced field. Now, with revenue streams down and costs up with new sanitation measures, Reach Dane Executive Director Jen Bailey says many child care centers are facing additional barriers, like needing the money to pay staff what they deserve. The incentive pay that we are looking to provide to staff just for the summer will cost $200,000. We are a large agency with a large number of employees, but most small child care centers have very little in the way of any reserve. Other facilities known for caring for us, particularly hospitals, are hurting too. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we know hospitals are stretched thin. In a statement, the Wisconsin Hospital Association president and CEO says Governor Tony Evers' announcement that $40 million would go to hospitals in the state is welcome news after stopping non-emergency services and procedures, which, quote, resulted in billions of dollars in revenue losses for Wisconsin's hospitals and health systems statewide. This funding will help alleviate the financial... Evers also addressed the Child Care Counts program. The first $32 million of that going out to early care and education providers earlier this week. I don't think I can emphasize enough just how critical that funding from the state is. Bailey says Reach Dane has just applied for the program's second round and hopes this will take care of them while they prepare to get back in business. And it really will be the difference between centers being able to remain open, you know, being able to pay their staff and having to close. Reach Dane hope, hopes to open its centers soon, bringing staff back next week, hoping to welcome children back as well by the end of the month. As far as hospitals go, they should expect that extra money by the second week of July. Maddie O'Neill reporting live tonight. Maddie, thank you.